Welcome back for another episode of the Thor 76 build series. Today we're actually going to talk about the Thor, the name of the Alucab 76 conversion. Now a conversion is actually where we cut the top of the car off, literally take to it with a pair of shears, remove a sheeting of roof and then actually attach the rooftop tent to the top of the roof. The ability then allows us to actually climb into the tent from inside giving us standing room. So I'll quickly set this up to show you how quick it is. And that, friends, is us done. How quick is that? We pull up, jump in, and within about 20 seconds, we're away. We jump inside, pop up our bedding, and we've got complete standing room. You'd have to be nine feet before you'd hit this ceiling. Plenty of standing room for, for people big and small. Great space in here for us to walk around, get ourselves dressed outside of the weather, uh, potentially stand up and do some work. Maybe we're traveling, working. Plenty of space to sit down and get away from the rain and the wind, if that's the case. Dual hatches at the back here to be able to get in and out of bed. Now we've got our setup so that uh, you've really only got the one access due to the way that we've got our fridge set up. But if you do have two people sleeping in here commonly and you built your downstairs area, or I guess accordingly, that would allow one person to get out without disrupting the other in the middle of the night if they do need to have a little break. Inside here we've got a really good set of bed here folds down, how's that? Bedding stays inside, so we've got a really nice thick Iron Man sleeping bag in here that lives in here with a nice just under sheet to keep uh, protecting the mattress. The mattress, of course, is a really good, heavy duty, thick uh, memory foam mattress, which is fantastic. And then up here, we have all these good canvas pockets. Uh, thermal insulation goes throughout the roof, so you're not gonna get absolutely smashed with rain and the sound of rain on the tin when it does hit it, it also gives you that thermal insulation. The canvas is all twin wall canvas, so there's twin wall canvas that runs all the way around the outside, which maximises breathability as well as insulation. Gas assist struts, we've got the moldy plates up there on the roof for the likes of shovel holders and, and your uh, Rico tracks, your recovery boards to be mounted to. Good awnings for, for wind pr weather protection across the rear and just an absolute comfy sleep in here. This canvas is nice and thick, keeps the sun out in the morning so you can have your sleep-ins and just magical views when you wake up with 180 degrees of, uh, of nothing but pure camping bliss. So that's it for the, uh, the rooftop conversion. We'll jump down and take you through the Alucab Shadow 270 degree awning. Now no touring rig would be complete without a good awning and of this we have put on the Alucab Shadow 270 degree awning. These are a fantastic awning, a really popular awning amongst four wheel drive owners. It's got a really heavy canvas impregnated and has a really highly reflective layer to it as well as a really strong layer to protect against any kind of water penetration. The arms, all aluminium, uh, reinforced C-channel, really nice and thick A-arms go back to a very robust hinge system. Within every arm is included a guy rope, so they're always on you. You don't have to worry about whether you've packed them or where you've lost them. The shadow warning is also complete with the little rain leg here. So if you are, or at any point, you still need to set the rain leg up because it actually provides a great deal of tension across the awning. But if you do get some weather, it just helps provide that pitch to let the water run off down to the sides. Now there are uh, walls available if you did want to get the walls and they have some Velcro attachments to put to the side here. There's also a leg, a one standard leg included in the, uh, in the awning. Now I've personally never really had to use this, but it is good to know that they're available. So if you do get some high winds or, uh, or heavy rains, you can definitely put that out. Irrespective of how strong these things are, of course it is always recommended to tie them down in any weather uh, rain or wind just to ensure that they don't of course blow up and blow over. So just a fantastic really simple awning to set up give yourself some nice shade uh, when you're out there at camp. Fling around the other side I'm going to quickly show you our instant awning, the ensuite awning that comes right off the side of this perfect for showers maybe a portable loo uh, when you're out there on the trails. So a nice little add-on here to the uh, right hand side of the vehicle. 
like we've got our little shower cube. Really simple. We just pull that out, falls down, clip, clip, and you're away. Now, of course, you can tie that down into the ground with a couple of pegs. Uh, it's got a roof on it to just ensure that you keep all that nice hot water in there on those cold days, as well as any of the, uh, the harsh sun rays out while you are using it. So how's that? A really nice little uh, quick, usable ensuite to have attached to your car for when you need it. Quick to set up, quick to pack up. Perfect. Guys, that's it for the series, talking through the Alucab rooftop conversion for the Thor, of course, the shadow warning and the shower cube. Fantastic kit by Alucab. If you've got any questions, of course, hit us down in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Happy to help you with any of your questions. And of course, you can always contact your local Ironman 4x4 store, who are the distributor of all Alucab products. So if you've got any Alucab questions, give them a buzz. They'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the series. If you've got any more requests, put them down there. We can always look to, uh, to extend it out. But I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about the Thor 76, and uh, thanks for tuning in.